to Jesus I surrender All to Him I freely give God so loved the world that He, I don't got to talk to you God, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son You better calm down or I just won't talk to you God so loved the world, you see how He gets upset? You see how, you see how Muslims get upset? When, when they come across someone when they get it, when they come across someone who knows a little bit of Arabic, who knows a little bit about the Bible, it means recite. It means recite. I don't know. I don't know. What are you saying? Okay. So this is what this is what the Quran says. This is what the Quran says. And then I'm gonna go back to the Bible. See, he's lying. This is what the Quran. No. Anybody can. Anybody can look up the word. I know that. Yeah. Amen. Anybody can look up the word, and it means recite. And you know what? You, and you know, even your scholars say it means recite. And so look, uh, uh, Ikara, Ikara means recite. And so you know what? So you, so you know what this angel did? This angel came to came to Muhammad with a book and said, "Read it, read it, recite, recite, recite the words. Recite means recite the words." He he couldn't read. And so, so therefore he couldn't recite <laughs> and so another thing another thing the word mercy and the word mercy in Arabic means womb Th think about this when uh, when they say bless my or something rock Rahim what the word the word the mercy in that uh, Shahada means womb tell me why Allah has a womb why does why does why does why does the word why does the word why, does, why, does, why does, what's the what's the trilateral what's the trilateral root what's the trilateral root here we go. I'm ignorant, but you don't know the trilateral root of, of the word RTH. What's the trilateral root of that word? What's the trilateral root? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So anyway, just like I said, uh, Allah is a moon god. That's why every Amen. Man, when you go to a when you go to a mass, ask yourself why there's a crescent moon on there. Because he's a moon god uh, uh, from the Nabataean culture. Do you know that the word Allah was used to describe an idol even before Muhammad conquered that land? When Muhammad conquered that land, what he did is he started using the word Allah to incorporate all gods into the Kaaba. So before 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 uh, Muhammad even conquered uh, Arabia, there already was a god called Allah. He had three daughters, and 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 he's a woman. Allah is a uh, he's also a woman deity. Allah is a woman deity. So you know what the moon represents in paganism? A woman. Uh, that's why the crescent moon it represents a woman, and the Catholic Church represents a man. So all these things are pagan in nature. All these things are pagan in nature. And, and that's why, just ask yourself, what does the moon got to do with God? What does the moon have to do with God? Explain to me what a crescent moon has to do with God. Nothing. Nothing. It has nothing. You know why? Because Allah, God bless you, brother. Allah was originally a moon god. That's what I'm trying to say. He's pagan. Allah is pagan in nature. And that's why, and you got to ask yourself, what a, what a, what a, God is, is God smart? Is God smart? Okay. Why would God give a book to someone who couldn't read? That's asinine. That's ignorance. God wouldn't do that. I don't want to know. Okay, then no, you can't ask me nothing. Yeah, on the mic. There's a mosque down the road. Have you ever tried going down? Yeah, I've been there several times. Have you ever spoken to... I've, I've actually preached the gospel in that mosque down there. A brother that I know, Muhammad, go, goes down there. And I've also been to the mosque over there on... Um, what street is that? Right down here to the left. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but it's right down here to the left. Yeah, right. No, not on George Street. It's... Um, it's uh, it's uh. Anyway, I don't know the, I don't know the name of the street, but it's right by it's Adelaide, right by the uh, right by that supermarket, right up the street from the supermarket. Yep. You know, and, and you know, you know what we used to do. You know, what we used to do before COVID. Every year, we would go to different mosques and we would hand out tracts to them because this is what I love about Muslims. Um, like Jehovah Witnesses will run away, Mormons will run away, but uh, um. Um, Muslims are so serious about what they believe they'll always have a discussion with you and that's why we go to mosques because Amen. I like to have those interactions and I like to have those discussions Amen. And so yeah I go to many mosques matter of fact I even keep it real I thought when I went to a mosque I was going to feel Satan there and feel uncomfortable but I didn't it was actually a good atmosphere the people were, were hella cool and then even uh, so I have a, I have a mother-in-law and then she, inv she invited me to the mosque on Eid and it was a beautiful experience you guys are deceived and you and you serve the wrong God but that don't make you terrible people Amen. that's why this is just all business Amen. it's not personal Amen. it's all about your Doctrine. It's all about your doctrine. It's all about your doctrine. What? No, it's not. I, I've also been to a Catholic church and told them to repent too. I've also been I've also been to a, a Jehovah Witnesses hall. I've also been to a temple, a Buddhist temple. The thing is, 
God sends us everywhere to preach the gospel of Jesus. Amen. If you and, and, the thing, and, and so that's what I do. You think that I just stand on the street corner and do this? No, of course not. The thing is, God, I, we don't because you're, you guys are thieves. Because no, you didn't. You, we don't have the same prophet. You don't want to think about the Okay, so tell me the same prophets that we have. We have Prophet Noah. Jesus, we have prophet Muhammad. Tell me about Prophet Noah. Prophet Abraham. Tell me about Prophet Noah. Prophet Noah. What did he do? All the prophets came from God. Prophet, from, again, from the Okay, look, because if we have. If, listen, listen. Yeah, yeah, just one thing. One thing. If we have the same prophet, these prophets did the exact same thing, okay? So what? Did, so you have to tell me. What, what did Moses do? That's not what Moses, that was not Moses' message. How do you know? From the Bible? From the Bible that Allah gave us, and the Bible says. And, and the Quran says that Allah's words can't be changed. Quran 8, 118 says Allah's words cannot be changed. So no matter what this guy says, it says that Allah gave us the Torah, Allah gave us the Zabur, Allah gave us the Injil, and Allah's words cannot be changed. So no matter what you're talking about, your Quran says the Torah can't be changed. Your Quran says the, Quran, the New Testament can't be changed. Your Quran says the Zabur can't be changed. So this conversation, unless this conversation is moot, I, I read that part. Yeah, I read that part. Yeah, now you know, and you know what also it says? It says, "Let me ask you a question." Let me, uh, let the Quran says, "Let the, the Bible, let then. the Jews judge by the Torah." If we don't have the Torah, or if it's corrupt, why would your God tell us to judge by a corrupt book? Uh, does that make sense? No, does that make any sense? Listen, listen. The Quran says, "Let the let the uh, Christians judge by." It says, "Let the Christians judge by the New Testament." So why would their God tell us to judge by a corrupt book? Think about it. It says, "It says, let the Jews." A judge by the Torah. Why would their God tell us to judge by a, a, a book that doesn't exist or that's corrupted? So basically, their God is corrupt. Their God is saying, Amen. judge by a corrupted book. Amen. So that, there's, there's, there's no two ways around it. Amen. There's no Amen. two ways around it. Uh, it, says, it says, hey, judge by the Zabor. Well, if the Zabor is corrupt, Allah is rather a, 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 a deceiver like he is because he can't tell us to judge by a corrupt book. Rather, the book is not corrupt or he's telling us to judge by a corrupt book. You can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. I've talked to many experts. I've talked to many experts. I talk, I, you, don't, you don't know. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Is the Quran eternal? Is the Quran eternal? Is it? It's the Surah of Quran's God. Why are you running? Why are you running? Quran, uh oh. Wait, wait, listen to what I said. Is the Quran eternal? Yeah. So the Quran is God. So you have two gods. Only God is eternal. So you're saying the book is eternal? That's my bad. That's my bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. The Quran is the words are going to disappear. Okay. You, is the Quran. Okay. Right. So the Quran's not eternal? No, it's not eternal. Okay. Can I, can I be a Muslim without, without, without professing Muhammad? No, you can't. No. That's because you're making partners with Allah. You know why? That's making partners. No, you know if why? I can't, if I can't be a Muslim by just professing God, that means I have to incorporate someone in with God to profess Him to be saved. Can which means you are associating partners with Allah. Can, can, can I, okay, wait, wait. Can, can, I, can I say? Can I say this only? Muhammad, uh, so Allah. Can, can I? Can I say Isa instead? Can I take Muhammad and say Isa instead and still be a Muslim? Yeah, Isa. Can I, can I, okay, so, there's no, so, so I can say this one. There is no God, but one God, and Isa is his final messenger. And I'm, a, and I'm, and I'm. A, you don't say final messenger. Okay. It's all about, it's all about God. Okay. Can I, can I say, can I say, can I say, there is no God but Allah, and be a Muslim? I tell you one thing, brother. Yeah. I don't have to say I'm Muslim. I don't have to say that Muhammad is his final. Do I have to say Muhammad is his final person? Do I have to say that? Because that's the whole shahada. So what you're saying is I don't need the shahada. If you believe it, you don't have to see it. Right, so, Muhammad was his last messenger. I don't have to say it. Yeah. Okay, you're, you're, so, so your scholars, your scholars are, are wrong when they tell us to take the when they tell someone to take the shahada. Because he said that I don't gotta, I don't gotta, I don't gotta, I don't gotta add Muhammad. You know, you have to add Muhammad once in a while. Okay, so why? Why is God not enough? Why do I have to add Muhammad with God? Why do I have to associate a partner with God to be saved? Because that's his last message. But who cares? He's not God. Who cares? He's not God. That's his last message. But he's not God. Okay, so you see, so you, so, so you see the point that I'm making, right? Um, you cannot be a Muslim without associating a partner with Allah. You have to, you have to not only confess Allah, you have to confess a man, which is Muhammad, to become a, a Muslim, which is idolatry, which is shirk. That is shirk. You're associating partners with Allah. You're yes, you are. You're associating Muhammad with Allah. When we worship God, we worship Him alone. 
worship one God. So, so how come I can't become a Muslim without 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 um, talking without saying that uh, Muhammad is his last prophet? Why can't I? First off, first off. First off. Yeah, thank you. Say, wait, wait, wait. What did you say? You have to say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah You have to say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Say it again Say it again La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Okay, amen Thank you brother He's telling the truth So that's the shahada You actually have to and, Okay, yeah, absolutely Sure, sure But look, you see how he told the truth? You, I don't know why you guys are lying But at least he's honest with what he believes You know what? He's honest with what he believes And you should be honest too And, and, and what you're doing is No matter, no matter what No matter what you're associating the partner Okay. Can I ask you one more question? Absolutely. You are Christian, right? You believe Christian. Jesus, I believe he's my prophet. Do you believe that Jesus is the person coming back in this world, at the end of this world? Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. You believe that, right? Yes. I believe too. But no. he's my prophet. Okay, when he's coming back in here, he's what gonna cross the cross. What are you gonna do? He's gonna crush the cross. Do you know Masih Yeah, but the, 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 wait, wait. Listen, listen. Does it say in the hadith that he's gonna crush the cross? Yeah. Okay, so what is that? If he's crushing the cross, what is he going to do to Christians? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 And that's my point. Amen. Amen. Religion is? Amen. He's going to come back and crush the cross. What, what do we believe in? We're saved by the cross. Amen. So, what, so I'm a, amen. That's a different Jesus. Amen. Jesus is not going to crush the cross. He's going to come back and crush all the sinners. But look.